Welcome to Serenity Medical Health and Beauty Spa, conveniently located behind the Premium Outlet Mall in Dawsonville, Georgia. I am here today with a, an expert in the field of skincare, uh, Valerie Rylander from ProSite Neova. Yes, we're here today to tell you a little bit about our new peel and basically what it is, it's a modified Jasner peel, which is a mid-level peel that is going to help with hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, overall texture of the skin, and the great thing about it and the, what sets us apart is we have the component of the DNA added to the peel. So this is really going to step it up a notch and take your peel to a whole new level. So Valerie, so this peel is designed to do in a series or is this just a once and done kind of thing? This peel is designed for a series of three to six peels to achieve the best overall results. And of course it's on a case by case basis according to your skin type, what you're trying to target, and what your personal goals are. So like with any other peel that we do, we have to be really careful even though you know this, this peel is probably not going to cause a tremendous amount of peeling or sloughing, correct? Right. There's not a lot of downtime, downtime like where you, your makeup doesn't go on great or you exactly. don't want to be seen. Right. Right? Right. Okay. But you need to protect, correct? Correct. It's important to make sure you wear sunscreen after you have a peel because your skin is ultra sensitive and the last thing you want to do is undo what you've recently done with your peel. Now this sunscreen is the one that we recommend definitely after any kind of invasive procedure or a peel um, because it has a special ingredient in it. Exactly. This, this sunscreen has the component of the DNA as well as vitamin C, vitamin E, it also is going to be hydrating. So this sunscreen is going to be perfect for use after your Renaissance peel. So why don't we go into the treatment room and let's demonstrate. Definitely. We're in the treatment room and we have our client ready. We're going to demonstrate the Renaissance peel to you that we were just talking about out in the reception area with Valerie R Rylander from Neova. This is their brand new peel that they've just launched. It's lactic acid, salicylic acid, and resorcinol, which is a typical modified Jesner, but they've added the component of DNA so that while your skin has the peel on and is penetrating down, down deep to those dermal levels, you're also experiencing the beginnings of some DNA repair. Perfect peel for going into the summer, especially if you can be careful with your sun exposure. Now, just going to cleanse the face. We have to cleanse very thoroughly. Do another rinse. This peel can be done over lunchtime. The only issue with doing the peels on lunchtime that I have is that you get far better penetration um, if you do not reapply makeup after your peel and if you just let your skin go with the peel on it overnight until the next morning. But if that's not a huge issue or concern for you as a, as a client, then you certainly may. There's no problem whatsoever with applying uh, makeup, you know, as, well, mineral makeup. Let me qualify that. Mineral makeup after a peel. And the reason that you want to be careful with what you put on your skin is um, just the products and the irritation level. And we know that the mineral makeup is safe for post-procedure because that's why it was even designed. Now we're going to use the peel prep. This comes in a little while. And this is to this is the one time we do want to take all of the oil residue of anything off of the skin. We'll avoid the eye area. This is a little bit fumy. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Vicki has some hyperpigmentation on this side of her face, some sun damage probably from the car because she's very fair, tends to have a little bit of a, you know, redhead, kind of um, very fair skin, hyperpigmate, pigments pretty easily. So this is a perfect peel to work on that to accelerate what she's doing with her products at home and the other skincare treatments that she's getting. Just dry that off a little bit. And 
now we just apply the peel. all over the face. We do want to let it dry in between layers, but can certainly apply more than one layer. per treatment for maximum benefit. Normally, the first time a client uh, is introduced to this peel, we would just use one layer just to make sure that you um, are responding well and not running into any issues. And then on subsequent treat treatments, we could use several layers. Now, it's absolutely imperative that you use sunblock um, after a peel religiously that day and every day forward. First thing when you get out of bed after you finish your skincare routine and before you put your makeup on, sunblock. Not just a moisturizer with sunscreen, not just makeup with sunscreen in it, but a sunblock. Um, that is the only way you can really protect the skin. And all of the sunblocks that I carry here at Serenity have some sort of physical sunblock and a meaning they have zinc or titanium they most of them also do have chemical um, sunscreens in them as well but the longevity and the the blocking really comes from the zinc and titanium all that said you still need to reapply throughout the day now she's dried pretty well it's just slightly tacky and then there is the total dna repair that goes on on top, which now we've begun the process of really penetrating the pores down to the epidermal dermal juncture, hopefully, to stimulate the fibroblast and collagen stimulation, renewal of cells, gentle sloughing of the skin. That's going to be the epidermis that sloughs off gently over the next few days. But the total DNA repair is an added bonus or boost. The, um, this peel has salicylic in it, which typically um, causes a little bit of a heat sensation or a little bit of tingling. And that is subjective and so we, we value your subjective feedback. And uh, you know, please, you know, that's the kind of thing you just let me know as we go along. We can give you a fan, or or just do less layers. And then when we put a, a lotion or a cream on top, like we just did with the DNA, that often that will reactivate the peel, and that just lasts for a few seconds. But as you can see, she's not bright red. I wouldn't even call her pink. She has just a little bit of pinking here in the cheek area. But the skin looks great. It, look, it actually looks even well hydrated. So we'll apply sunblock now, and I like to just press my sunblock in, and this is a physical block that's primarily zinc, that's also a product made by Neova, and she is good to go. So in anywhere from tomorrow, depending on your skin type, to a couple of days, you may experience a little bit of sloughing of the skin, Vicki. Mm -hmm. And um, like I was explaining, you just make sure that you wear your sunblock before you put your makeup on religiously. You continue your skincare unless you're using an, um, an aggressive cleanser for acne, which I know you're not. But um, anyone who is using an aggressive cleanser for acne, we would. Um, talk to you about that when you come in for your peel and coach you on what you should be using during the time that you're peeling. But as far as your other products, also we'll discuss that, but typically um, you should be able to continue with your normal regime, but we just take that on a case-by-case -case basis. And now we've started on our journey of DNA total repair, and we are just so excited and that we'll hope that you'll come in and visit us and join the journey with us.